Welcome back to part 3 of the Wendy's saga. Let's not waste any time and just get straight into it, you bunch of trolls. The Wendy's Saga Part 3 On February 28th, Josh called Wendy's and his manager, surprisingly, gave him an extra day a week to work, but only for four hours. Looks like my hours might be increasing a little bit. I called to ask about my schedule for this week and they had me working on Tuesday. Awesome sauce. On March 6th, Josh asked his fans if they wanted to see him do the T-Rex Burger Challenge. Now, how would you people like to see me do the Wendy's T-Rex Burger Challenge? I'd order three bacon triple cheeseburgers with everything on them and two of them just the meat and the condiments and the bacon. Assemble that shit and be like you two, look what I got. It's going down. And I would film myself eating the T-Rex burger from Wendy's for your sick entertainment and for your sick entertainment. Five years later, Josh had the opportunity to try the T-Rex Burger Challenge in 2021 during the second documentary titled King Cobra JFS, Now It's a Party. Josh failed the challenge, but didn't seem too arsed. On March 23rd, Josh attempted to take out a $200 loan from a loan agency named Mr. Money. I went and stopped by Little Caesars, picked up two pizzas. How exactly did I get these two these two pizzas and the drink, which came to about $14.50. Well, I went down to the money loaner's place. They loaned me 15 bucks and I owe them 20 bucks on the 30th. So that's not, that's not gonna be a problem to pay off considering that my birthday's this weekend. I might get some birthday money and also I get paid on the 30th. Unfortunately, they hired a whole bunch of new people at Wendy's and my scheduling manager didn't want to do that because we were already plenty full, but she was told to do it anyway, so she did. And I understand that people got to make a living. I was only scheduled to, I was only scheduled to work one day this week. That was yesterday. Now, when I walked into the money place, I thought that I could get a loan for $200, and that's not going to happen. So the most they could give me was $15. And then I owe them 20 bucks on payday. So my check should break $100 at the very least. So I'll have enough money to pay them back for sure. That's just how I am, YouTube. Whenever I borrow money from somebody or I have somebody loan me something, I'm always able to make sure that I pay it back. You know what I'm saying? Now, if they keep scheduling me to work just one day a week, I'm going to have to find another job alongside the one I already have because you can't expect me to make a living off of that. You know, YouTube... I came this close, YouTube, this close to selling my green my green chopper at a pawn shop today. This close, YouTube, this close. But there's a super long line and I drag my bike into the pawn shop and there's a line in front of the counter already. I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I look down at my bike I says to myself, I can't do it, man. I can't sell my bike. That's the only mode of transportation I have. And that bike is a hell of a lot faster than walking. That's for damn sure. And then as I'm riding away from the pawn shop, I think to myself, you know what? If I sold my bike to the pawn shop, I think I'd instantly regret it. Considering that I paid $857 for it. And I know for a fact that Mr. Money wouldn't give, w wasn't going to give me the full amount, you know. And even if they did give me the full amount for it, 
it'd be kind of hard to let that go, you know. So the bike's still here, obviously. Um, On April 12th, Josh's dad Clint suggested that he go and see a job coach to help him find a new job. Josh dismissed Clint's suggestion. My dad seems pretty convinced that I need to see a job coach next week to help me find a job. I, I have a job and, you know, I've been working with Wendy's for three years now. And I don't really want to change because I'm used to my routine. That's part of having Asperger's is that once I stick to my routine, you know, it becomes pattern for me. And I don't want, and I don't like um, breaking from my pattern, you know. But potentially I could be making 1500 a, a month, you know, if I found the right job and got enough hours, which... You know, if I was making 1500 a month, I think I could live off of that quite comfortably. On April 17th, Josh made mention that his manager gave him an extra day a week to work. I should say that my hours are starting to increase a little bit. Um, I went from working one day a week to two days a week the next week to uh, three days one week and four days the next week. So. Yeah, you know, um, keep doing what I can to um, make a good impression at work, you know, and, uh, you know, ideally I could be making 1500 a month, which would be just enough for me to make a living and have a little something, something to, you know, spend money on shit, you know, um, that would leave me with a thousand dollars to spend. And if I wanted to save up for a car, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I got my eye on this classic car, but it's like 3000 some odd dollars. And it doesn't even run. On April 21st, Josh had another blowout at work after his manager called him stupid after he made a clumsy mistake at work. Josh had a few choice words to say about his manager, and one could argue that this could have contributed to the decision to fire Josh. So what to do when a manager at work talks to you like you're stupid? <laughs> well, taking out the trash at work today and I haven't changed my trash run routine in like the three years that I've been working at Wendy's. I'm one of my managers, I'm not gonna name names on my channel because I'm not li like that, but one of my managers was talking to me today and she had kind of an attitude and she was talking to me like I, like I was stupid and then you know what I'm saying up to this day I'd never actually thought about it but she was telling me you know she was saying hey don't overstack the, tr the trash is in the ba in the bag you know and up to that point you know I just been get a trash bag take up every trash in the kitchen and just pile it up into one one trash can on wheels and wheel it out to the dumpster in the back and um, today, though, my manager's like, well, don't do that. You know, if the bag gets too full, make a second trip. And then she explained that she didn't, if the bag broke open, you know, she didn't want all the uh, tr trash juice to get all over the sidewalk and she didn't want to have to clean it up, you know. And rather than, I took the moment to reflect upon myself and, you know what I'm saying? I go, if I want to keep this job, I got to put up with it. So that's in the back of my mind that's what I'm saying so um, I shrugged it off and I even agreed with her I said yeah you know if I was in your shoes I wouldn't want to deal with that either so so then um, I proceeded to just I took two trash bags off the top so that the trash can on wheels would be you know perfectly level and what have you and that's when she my manager she told me no, make two trips because I don't want those bags breaking open. So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to argue with her. I'm just going to do my job. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but that's not the best part. Because, because my dumbass didn't, my dumbass didn't have the volume up on my phone. No, normally I wake up 8.30, 9.30. I'll get ready, take a sh quick shower, and then I'm on my bike and I'm out the door. But I woke up at 10.31 
So, I was in a mad rush this morning, and then I would have gotten to work on time this morning, except the chain on my bike popped off halfway to work. <laughs> Excuse me, fucking hiccups. And you can imagine how pissed I was. I was already in a bad mood because I woke up late, and then on top of that, the goddamn bike chain decides to pop off on me. So I called my dad, and he came and picked me up, and took me the rest of the way to work, much appreciated. Um, but going back to uh, work, you know, and this is the thing of it, I have, you know, what I'm saying, I don't have a single problem with working with any of my coworkers, at least I try not to, you know. For the record, um, the majority of my coworkers are female, so, you know, and again, I don't have a problem with that, I really don't. But there's times I feel like I'm outnumbered, you know what I'm saying, especially when the majority of my co co-workers are female, you know. And this is the thing of it too, is I've noticed the very same manager in, que in question, she likes to talk to people like they're stupid sometimes. I'm not the only one she does it to from time to time. And depending on how bad of a mood she's in, you know what I'm saying, and then she said, and I quote, well you act like you don't know how to do a trash run. No, that, that's what she said to me. She had this snotty talking down to you sort of tone in her voice. Oh, you act like you don't know how to take out the trash. I'm like, I've been doing trash runs at the store for three years, so I think I know how to take out the trash here, okay? It's, you know, it's bad enough when one of my managers does it to me. But then I had a coworker do it to me in the same day. I just said, you know what? I'm sick and tired of people talking to me like I'm stupid, okay? Granted, I may have barely graduated high school, but I guarantee if I open my fucking mouth and say anything, it's just going to cause a bigger problem than it's worth. So, nine times out of ten, I keep my mouth shut. You know. Um, but I'm sick of it, YouTube. I'm sick and tired of being talked to like I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? I may not be the smartest person in the world, and I may not be able to do everything in that store, mind you, because I haven't received the training for it yet. But that's beside the point. And... Keep in mind, this is the manager that controls how many hours I get at work, so, you know, you say anything like, hey, don't talk to me like I'm stupid, most likely I'll get, what I'll get is, oh, I'm not talking to you like you're stupid, and if you're going to give me attitude, I'm going to cut your hours. So it's like, I, I don't want to deal with any of that, so, you know, I take the high road in this sense, and I go, you know what, just agree with her and shut the fuck up and do your job. That's all you can do. That's all you fucking can do, you know? Because of my SSI, I am qualified for a job coach, believe it or not. And I'm getting a pamphlet within the next 7 to 10 business days that should direct me to the nearest place here in town that will help me with getting a job coach. And once that happens, I'm going to try to find me another job that's preferably closer to my apartment. And that's going to give me more hours. And... You know what I'm saying? Preferably with people who aren't going to talk down to me like I'm stupid. I could potentially be making 1500 a month. Okay? And the thing of it is, though, YouTube, is I'm very good about getting up and getting to work on time. You know? I'm almost always never late. So that once in a blue moon when it happens. You know what I'm saying? Which, to be fair, you know, happens to put, it could happen to anyone, you know? I'm the kind of person that I take pride in knowing that I can get to work on time and be there and show up when I'm supposed to clock in, you know what I'm saying? On May 16th, Josh answered a few questions from his fans and seems to be unsure of his work schedule. Okay, let's get the record straight. I don't throw fits when I'm at work, okay, first of all. And second of all, when you smoke a pipe and you tap it out onto your hand, your hand's gonna get a little dirty. Oh, and speaking of work, I'm actually doing some laundry right about now. Washing my work shirts and pants, that way I have a clean uniform for when I start work next. When I was at work yesterday, I made a pretty good impression, I think. We got super, we were pretty much busy all day when I was at work. And two o'clock came, it was time for me to clock out, but a bus full of high school chicks came in to eat and um, I was more than happy to stay on and make a couple extra bucks you know what I'm saying 
And then when the lunch, when that bit of the lunch rush had died down completely, my manager asked me if I could stay and do a trash run. I said I'd be more than happy to, you know. So I got to I got to stay an hour late. That's what's up. I even got asked to change out the teas at work. I walk out into the lobby and I noticed that the sweet tea was empty. So I ran back to the kitchen and I told my manager that the sweet tea was empty. And the very same manager that said I wasn't allowed to change out teas. She goes, well, can you change out the sweet tea? And I said, yeah, not a problem. She goes, all right, the sweet tea's in the walk-in. I'm like, all right, I got you. So I went in, I got to change the tea. I felt super important there, I tell you what. So I'm hoping that the impression was good enough that my hours will increase a little bit. I won't know my schedule till tomorrow. Even though the schedule comes out today, I can't call Wendy's because my phone doesn't work. I can text, but, you know... So tomorrow, I'll ride up to work with my uniform just in case I have to work that day. And I'll check the schedule, and if I have to work tomorrow, awesomeness, you know what I'm saying? On July 2nd, Josh asked his fans nicely not to call him while he was at work. And then on top of that, this morning, I woke up late getting up for work. I still got to work on time, but because there were some customers... Being attended to, being being attended to, I wasn't able to clock in until like two minutes after I was supposed to clock in. But I still got to work on time. You know what I'm saying? I can't always clock in right away. So yeah, it, my work schedule has has to have, has to change now because yeah, my work schedule has changed up a bit. So yeah, look if you want to contact me because you're a fan. Hit me up on YouTube or Facebook. Okay, don't call my job when I'm working, okay? Le leave me the fuck alone when I'm working because that wastes my time and it wastes my manager's time, okay? That Wendy's I work at gets very busy, okay? And we don't got time to fucking sit there and deal with somebody like that, okay? Because I've had haters and fans al alike trying to hit me up and call me while I'm working and I don't appreciate it, okay? Okay, because I don't want to be harassed like that at work, you know what I'm saying? On July 18th, Josh reflected on his work schedule and thought he was capable of working 8 hour shifts instead of the measly 15 hours he was making up in 3 weeks at Wendy's at this time. Now I get paid this Wednesday, so my paychecks aren't very big, I'm not gonna lie. But just taking a little bit out of each paycheck, even if it's only like five or six bucks, you know what I'm saying? And sticking it in my bank account. It actually have to be 2000 maybe like $800. Because I gotta have $100 in my bank account to keep it sufficiently open. And yeah, it may take me a long ass time to save up for the sex doll that I want. But the one I want, oh god, YouTube, she's fucking gorgeous. Like, holy shit. <laughs> well, I got like 15 hours in, in the three weeks, in the three week pay period. Because you got the week after you get paid, plus the two weeks after that. Although, if I got a job working full time, I'd have no problem saving up for that sex doll. But finding a job is tough right now because we're in the middle of an election year. And there aren't a whole lot of places in town that are hiring right now. And I've gone out there and put in applications, dressed all sharp and shit, but haven't gotten a whole lot of callbacks. It's kind of frustrating to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? It kind of feels like I'd have an easier time winning the lottery than it would be to find, to find another job. As crazy as that sounds. But I saw somebody that I'm friends with on Facebook that lives in Wyoming and this person said he put in literally 6,300 applications both online and in the real world and I don't, I, he might live in Wyoming I'm not sure but the post he said he basically put in 6,300 applications for several months and nothing online and nothing in the real world I'm like damn dude so at this point, I'm just grateful I have a job, you know what I'm saying? Um, but what I can do is 
talk to my scheduling manager and see what I can do about getting more hours. And yeah, you know, that shouldn't be too difficult. The key to that is being persistent, you know, being persistent with asking about more hours. And not only being persistent, but showing that you want more hours, you know. When I make a mistake at work, you know what I'm saying, that kind of the kind of mistake that makes it to where they, they don't want to give you more hours. That, that hurts my chances, and I don't intentionally make mistakes at work, you know what I'm saying? I really don't. I try not to, you know what I'm saying? But I make mistakes just like the rest of us. And I've been working at Wendy's for almost four years now. There's no reason why I shouldn't have more hours. It, it's hard to leave a company that you have history with, you know what I'm saying? That That's another thing, too. On August 2nd, Josh accidentally doxed his full address after he was sent a religious pamphlet in the mail. And I got some bullshit in the mail here. What the fuck is this? Okay, fuck this cocksucker right here. Motherfucker, no. Okay, I'm going to make an example of this right now. Let the Bible speak is a gospel outreach for the greater Casper Cheyenne area. Gospel outreach for... Blah, 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 blah. Fuck your stupid motherfucking sky guard. Sometime in August, a talentless neckbeard gamer going by the name Castless Zemi made a video about Josh. This video was not archived, but I'll try my best to describe what it was like. The video title was roughly, The Most Disgusting Person on YouTube. I was in the same style of the disgraced chinless YouTuber Leafy Is Here. The premise of these types of videos was to choose an eccentric individual on YouTube and make fun of them. These talentless hacks would usually take videos and make fun of them with footage from video games like Counter-Strike GO. If I recall correctly, Castless Zemi has been aware of Josh's channel for quite a while and shows some of Josh's most popular videos like the hair dye video. Castless Zemi mocked Josh's appearance and was completely aware that Josh had Asperger's. For you to get a better understanding of Castler Zemi, here is a video that was archived on a cringe channel. Which one should I get? Get the one with the pickles. Should I get old Bush? I guess. Harry High School Hotties. <laughs> Loads of plush teen pussoa. <laughs> should I get this penthouse? Penthouse sucks. Well, look at her dude, she's like so tantalizing. Is that right? <laughs> Barely legal. Oh, can't show that. <laughs> I just laughed at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, can we see some nudies now? And, uh, There's a small child beside you. Huh? There's a small child that walked by us here. I need to see if I can see something. <laughs> I think this is going to be the one, man. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> All bush. 30% off the Dude, closing it's, business. It's 30% off. So how much is it usually? $9.99 to be like 7 bucks. Get it. Dude, we're getting it, dude. Get it. We're getting it. I know what you're gonna go home and do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go home and do it. <laughs> Actually, I might do it in the car. <laughs> Pretty excited. It's like the first time I've ever seen porno. I think that's what it's called, right? Porno, porno yeah. pornography. Some good stuff. Have a tug. That's what it says on there. Look at it. Have a tug. <laughs> Oh, dude, this one definitely does not look fucking 18. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, dude, what your giner does. On August 21st, when Josh arrived for his short shift at Wendy's, his manager pulled him aside and told him that someone sent an email to Wendy's corporate to get Josh in trouble. At this time, Josh's fans were unaware that Castless Zemi was the one behind this email with the intention to get Josh fired from his job. My manager pulled me aside today at work to discuss a couple things. Apparently corporate had got sent an email referring me and my YouTube channel and the whole email was nothing but a lie to try to get me fired. 
basically the email said that I do gross things on my YouTube channel that apparently I talk shit about customers and about my coworkers. When I've never once talked shit about a customer or my coworkers for that matter on my channel for one thing. And for another thing, I don't do gross things on my channel. But they couldn't stop there with the harassment. They had to take it a step further by trying to call my work and being like, Oh, I'm Josh's girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. I want to I wanna talk to him, blah, 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 blah. Because they seem to think that me being single is funny, so they got to make fun of me for not having a girlfriend. But how pathetic can you get? You're stalking a socially awkward autistic on YouTube. It really shows how much you got going for your life right now. You got your whole life in front of you to make something of yourself. What you see on YouTube is not what you see when I'm working. I'm a completely different person when I'm on the clock. But how am I supposed to keep my YouTube and my work separate when fucking assholes won't quit harassing me? It's wasting my time, it's wasting my coworkers' time, and I'm fed up with it. I don't think you want harassment charges filed against you. You know what I'm saying? But if you're calling the place I work at to try to harass me with some stupid bullshit, what you're doing is blatant harassment. I don't think you want to go to jail for harassing me. And these people seem to think that their harassment's going to get to me. And of course the answer is no, it's not. I never have and never will let it get to me, man. And then calling my job, pretending to be the girlfriend that I don't have right now, just because you think me being single is something to laugh at. And the reason why I know it was fake is because if I had a girlfriend, she'd have my cell phone number. A uh, duh. Oh, you say you're not intimidated by me? You're saying I don't intimidate you? Prove me wrong. Quit harassing me then. Because every time you talk shit and harass me, it just means you're intimidated by me. Three days later, on August 24th, Josh got the call that he'd been fired from his job at Wendy's. So I'm having kind of a, a rough couple of days, man. I got a, a call from work, and uh, when I finally got back to them, they basically told me I was fired. So yeah, I got fired from Wendy's today. Why is that? You remember when I was talking about those emails those trolls were sending to Wendy's International trying to get me fired? Well, they kept at it and they finally succeeded. And I am not, you know, I am not the least bit mad at my managers. No, I'm not mad at them at all, you know. I, I try to explain to them that these were trolls fucking with me. And, you know what I'm saying? Because not even a day after I got the emails, I had some troll calling the Wendy's I used to work at, pretending to be my girlfriend, the girlfriend I don't have right now, because people think that me being single is funny. Ha 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 ha. So to me, that's no coincidence. They, uh, you know what I'm saying? But they kept on emailing Wendy's International, and my manager said straight up that there's been too many emails, and Wendy's International has stepped in and said that I need to be fired. So, I'm fired because YouTube trolls wouldn't quit fucking with me. I might be down, but I'm not out of the count just yet. You know, and as I get more famous on YouTube, people get jealous of it, and they're jealous because I'm not afraid to be myself, you know what I'm saying? And because of that, they feel this, this urge to fuck with me because I'm not afraid to be myself. And the reason why they fuck with me because they don't know who they are as people, okay? They can't figure themselves out. They haven't figured themselves out. And then they see someone like me who's famous on YouTube and who's not afraid to be themselves, and it fucks with them. The last couple of weeks when I was getting super harassed by trolls just coming out of the woodwork, I was getting accounts taken down left and right, people using the internet to make fun of me, and I was getting their accounts taken down left and right, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. I'm like, yeah, sticking it to those stupid trolls, all right, you know what I'm saying? 
But then they're like, oh, what can we do to fuck this guy's life up? We can't fuck with him on the internet because he's too powerful there. Oh, I know. Let's fuck with him in the real world. So in short, they those emails they sent to Wendy's International were basically a lie to get me fired. And it worked. So congratulations, YouTube trolls. I no longer have a job at Wendy's. Now, karma is going to bite these motherfuckers in the ass so goddamn hard right now, you don't even know. Now, when I was younger, I didn't think mentioning where I worked would fuck me like it did just now, just today, as a matter of fact. What's even more ironic is that today would have been my, and still is, you know, four years ago on this day I was hired on at Wendy's and my clock in number was four but then three years later they changed the clock in system so I, I worked for that company for four years and it probably would have been much 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 longer but and Wendy's International is a corporation period when they get multiple emails about one individual they're not going to take too much time to look into it other than to say, get that person out of our company, you know. When Wendy's International gets a complaint saying that, oh, I talk shit on my coworkers and customers when I never did in the first place, you know. Oh, that he does gross stuff on his channel. <laughs> but if these YouTube trolls think that getting me fired from my job that I've had for four years is going to prevent me from making videos, they're wrong. You don't like what I do on YouTube? Then don't watch. How would you like it if I called and emailed your job and got you fired? Or if someone did that to you? You wouldn't like that, would you? No, I don't think you would. You know? And it's kind of tough to find a job in this town right now because of the election year and people getting laid off and shit. So, yeah. A lot of people on YouTube might see me fall. And people who have followed me since Gothic King Cobra 52 will tell you they've seen me go through a lot of shit but I get back up and I keep trying and that is in all honesty probably a lot of inspiration for a lot of people you know when you've worked for the same company for four years when you've worked with the same people for four years you know they kind of become like a second family you know what I'm saying yeah maybe the YouTube trolls did me a favor maybe I'll be able to find a job where I'll get paid more, you know. But I was hardly ever late for work. Like once in a blue moon, you know what I'm saying? It rarely happened. I'm generally the kind of person that, that makes a habit of getting to work on time and then doing my job to the best of my abilities and making sure customers are always welcome back anytime. I was scheduled to work Friday and Sunday, but if I just been let go today, I don't think I'll be on the schedule then. You know, this is an opportunity for me to do a lot of awesome things. Like, I could get a job working with animals. Being, okay, being as I'm autistic, being as I'm autistic, and therefore not a very social person, which is odd considering I'm on YouTube, which is a very social website. The irony is quite delicious, actually. I did promise the Wendy's T-Rex Burger Challenge, and I will do that eventually, but not right now, obviously. But Wendy's does know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to food and shit, you know what I'm saying? That 4 for 4 deal is pretty good. See, so yeah, even after I get fired from Wendy's, I'm still talking good about them, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just how I am, like, I'm not the kind of person to, to hold grudges over something stupid like that, you know what I'm saying? Following his firing from Wendy's, Josh's fans began sending him care packages in the mail to boost his spirits. Anyway, I received a package in the mail. What's this? Oh, they sent me some more. Oh. I had a fan of mine contact me, and the fan that contacted me said they were going to send me some more pipe tobacco from Pipes and Cigars. A lot of you seem very pleased to hear from me again. I know with the recent fiasco of losing my job, a lot of you out there are very concerned for me. And uh, I appreciate your concern out there on the social medias and what have you. So, Around this time, Josh's fans and the King Cobra JFS subreddit 
banded together and unleashed an attack on Castler Zemi, as he could have been the culprit of who got Josh fired. Over the span of a few days, Josh's fans found out Castler Zemi's personal information by doing a domain name registration lookup on his personal website. Some of Josh's naughtiest fans slash trolls even went as far to contact Castler Zemi's family and his workplace in an attempt to make him pay for his bad deeds. Josh's fans referred to Castler Zemi as the fat fuck from Kentucky after being bombarded with doxing and trolling. Castler Zemi uploaded the video I pissed off a cult in an attempt to defend himself and explain his actions. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. If you guys have been following my channel for the last couple of days, you guys have seen that a lot, and I mean a lot of fucking haters have came over to my channel, been talking a ton of shit and all this different, I mean just stupid shit. I just want to go ahead and clear the fucking air and just let you guys know that whenever he lost his job, before he even lost his job, I released this video. So this video, I don't even talk about how he's going to lose his job or he had lost his job. I uploaded this video before I even knew that he lost his job. And it was not my intention to have him lose his job. It was my intention to bring it to Wendy's attention that they have an employee that's doing this stupid shit and, you know, hopes were that they would tell him to cut this shit out or or something like that my intention wasn't to get him fired did I contribute to it yes I absolutely did contribute to it and I'm not the only one there were multiple people that sent emails and called Wendy's reporting the stupid gross shit he was doing on his channel as well as um, talking about customers and all this different shit and one of King Cobra JFS video he was talking about how people even went as far to call his workplace and um, act like his girlfriend and make fun of him and shit like that I don't know anything about that I personally didn't have anything to do with that 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 is a totally different fucking subject altogether but I didn't have anything to do with that. But if you guys are going to ask my personal opinion, I would have to say that King Cobra JFS, man, it's your fucking fault that you got fired. Okay. Did I, did I help the situation? No, but it is not my whole responsibility that you got fired. If you were smarter with your YouTube channel, then you wouldn't have ever posted that stupid shit on there, about you talking about employees and you talking about customers and you doing gross shit on your channel. And man, to be honest, you need to step up to the plate and you need to be a man and you need to make a video and you need to say, yeah, these haters definitely hurt me and fucking, you know, contributed to me losing my job. But at the end of the day, it was my responsibility. I shouldn't have posted the shit that I posted up on the internet, period. I know you didn't specifically give out any names or anything like that whenever you told these stories, but the point is, is that you still told these stories and everybody knew that they were about Wendy's and you did deserve to get fired. Man, look at it like this, dude. If the coworker that you were talking about or the customer that you were talking about in your video seen that, that's fucked up, man. I know a lot of you guys are even talking about how he didn't actually even cook or work in the kitchen. You're saying that he, all he did was clean and take out trash and shit. But at the same point, he still had access to food. He still worked at a restaurant. And to be perfectly honest, after watching his videos and seeing how he cleans his house and cleans his pans and everything like that, I'll just be honest with you. He had no business in any job cleaning anything. And I also noticed how a lot of you guys were mentioning how what he does in the privacy of his home should not be anybody else's business. Well, you are absolutely correct. What I do in the privacy of my home and what he does in the privacy of his home should be nobody's concern. But whenever you are filming it and putting it on YouTube, it's no longer the privacy of your home. That's out for all of the public and the world to see. The last couple of days, I myself and my family members and everybody have been completely fucking harassed. I've received death threats. People have been posting on the dark web about me, trying to get people to hack me, kill me, whatever. Um, I've had people threaten to swap me, call the police. My brother and my mother and my fucking sister-in-law have all been harassed and threatened. And at the end of the day, this all falls on to you, King Cobra. Okay, man, you and all your followers are attacking me because I made a exposed video. I made a exposed video that I did not lie in the least bit in this video. And because you guys don't like it, you're personally attacking me. 
And if you guys were just going after me and just specifically attacking me, then you know what? I mean, I can take that shit. That doesn't bother me. But just the fact that you guys are now going after me and my family members is just completely screwed up. You guys have figured out where I live, what my phone number is, all a ton of my personal information. And you guys are currently trying to find out where I currently work. You figured out that I used to work at CVS Pharmacy and you're going as far as to call my previous workplace and tell them that I stole pills out of the pharmacy and I'm selling them out on the street. I mean, okay, like what the fuck? Here's the thing. King Cobra got fired. King Cobra deserved to get fired. Okay. I don't deserve to get fired. I haven't done anything wrong at my workplace. I keep my work and my YouTube completely separate. And there's a reason for that. And the reason for that is because I don't want to get fired. And a lot of you guys are harassing me and telling me, oh, you got an autistic kid fired. Well, first off, does anybody actually 110% know that this guy is even autistic? Now, I'm not going to go out and say that he's not because I don't know. I'm not a medical doctor. I haven't ever fucking diagnosed anybody. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that King Cobra JFS is a liar and he continues to lie. And I'm not 110% convinced that he didn't make up the lie that he's autistic so people will leave him alone and stop making fun of him. If you ask me personally, I think King Cobra JFF's biggest problem is drug and alcohol abuse. King Cobra man, you should be fucking ashamed that you are going after and attacking me personally, personally attacking me for me, what? releasing out true information that you shouldn't have put out there getting you fired from your job which you deserve to get fired from and because you guys have been maliciously fucking attacking me to the extent that you have been i've had to go as far as to contact the federal bureau of investigation and fucking file a report with them because i'm receiving so many death threats and so many threats of swatting and you guys are leaking out my personal information i've seen on my channel multiple multiple times that he's actually currently looking for a girlfriend and is very depressed that he doesn't have one and so i'm kind of curious all the women that have been commenting on my latest video and just bitching about how i'm an awful monster of a person well why don't you guys hit up king cobra jfs and try to hook up with him why don't you guys try to find him a girlfriend maybe okay maybe you have a husband maybe you have a boyfriend do you have a sister do you have a cousin maybe one of your girlfriends i mean who knows why don't you guys try to help him out why i don't know maybe you should comment down below and let me know let everybody else know and if king cobra jfs even has autism that does not give him the right to get a fucking get out of jail free card Okay, if he has autism and if he fucks up at his job, he deserves to get fired. That's like saying that an autistic kid that commits murder shouldn't have to go to prison. No, he should. If an autistic person fucking did something wrong, he should have to feel for the fucking consequences. Just because he's autistic does not mean that he's mentally retarded. By the way, King Cobra should be fucking ashamed. On August 29th, Josh came face to face with the man, child, that got him fired from his job and made a video response to Castler Zemi's I Pissed Off a Cult video. So Wednesday I have an appointment with some fine folks over at the uh, Job Rehabilitation Center. And um, they're basically their job coaches, man. And what they do is they're gonna help me find a job that I'll succeed in. Wednesday, I'm also getting my second to last paycheck. I went into uh, Wendy's today to turn in my uniform and one of my managers let me have a free cup of pop. So thank you for that, much appreciated, you know. Well, when I turned in my uniform, they said, and I quote, that I get to keep this um, this windy sweatshirt, so that's cool. Anyway, the same butt fucker that made the video entitled King Cobra JFS Exposed. Well, he made another video, and I've since blocked him from my channel, but I'm gonna watch his entire stupid video and then give you my two cents on it. And I really don't want to give this fucker any more attention than he deserves. 
I gotta take a shit, so I'm gonna take a shit while this What's video up, guys? Plays. Welcome to a brand new video. If you got, I gotta take a mad shit, YouTube. So while this video is playing, I'm going to take a shit. You guys have been following my channel for the What's last up, couple guys? of days. By the way, King Cobra, you should be fucking ashamed. <sighs> okay, couple things. First of all, I was self-diagnosed by a doctor at the age of 13 when they first discovered Asperger's and what it was. Second of all, I get tired of this mentality that certain people have, that they seem to think that people like me think that just because I have a disorder that I should be able to get away with anything I want to. No, I don't have that attitude, okay? And second thing, you should be ashamed of yourself, dude. You and a bunch of people got an autistic man to lose his fucking job, okay? You know, I, I kind of realize this now. Um, I didn't talk about customers. Okay, I talked about one customer. That was it. And the only reason I talked about it was because I was appalled by the way she treated me. You don't see everything I do in my life on YouTube. So y you don't see how I clean my apartment, for one thing. My apartment's very clean, actually. You try to justify your shitty actions by showing sympathy for me because I can't get a girlfriend. Go well, fuck yourself, dude. This is funny because you harassed me first, okay? You got me fired from my job, okay? Which I also noticed that you have a video on how to clean your vagina. When it's pretty obvious you're not a chick. So what gives you the right to tell people as a male how to clean their vagina? You don't have that right because you don't have a vagina. So while it does kind of suck that I lost my job at Wendy's, at the same time, I'm looking at this as an opportunity to get better and grow as a person. I also I, I, okay, I also did my best, okay, I also did my absolute best to motivate my coworkers. Like, if I noticed that my coworkers were doing an excellent job, I'd be like, yeah, I go team beef, you know what I'm saying? On September 3rd, during an unboxing video from the talented Exume Visions, go to ExumeVisions.com and buy some sweet merch, not a sponsor. Give me a little plug, check out Exume Visions. If you like sexy goth shit, ExumedVisions.com. Josh said that a troll made a YouTube poop about him. It was a video depicting him as a serial killer and caused the Casper PD to come to his apartment and check in on him. So my day was pretty good today, um, hanging out with friends, but unfortunately, um, someone had tried to fuck with me again on YouTube, and how exactly did they do it? Well, basically, they made a YouTube poop, okay, they made a YouTube poop about me, saying a whole bunch of fucked up shit, and... To, to put it in retrospect, the shit they were saying about me in this YouTube poop video was so fucked up that one of my co-workers saw it, ex-co-workers I should say, one of my ex-co-workers at Wendy's saw the YouTube poop someone made about me, and they went as far as to try to fake their online identity, pretending to be me and shit like that. I got the video taken care of and taken down. I'm just saying though, that's kinda fucked up that you do that to somebody. Especially after I just lost my fucking job, and then not even, not even a week after I've lost my fucking job. Their little video stunt they pulled with that YouTube poop basically got me swatted. I had three cops I, I had to talk to earlier. And they were just concerned about my safety and the safety of others. They're like, hey, we just want to bring this video to your attention. Ask you a couple questions. And when I assured them, everything was fine. And basically told them it was just some asshole fucking with me on YouTube. They're like, well, we can't do a whole lot. But if you ever need us, just give us a call, you know. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to report this to YouTube ASAP. I've been having fans... Uh, send me some cool stuff. Um, I didn't technically leak my address, but somehow some people got a hold of it through that one video I tried deleting. I got a Baptist Church pamphlet in the mail, and you really didn't, you really couldn't see the address on it. You know what I'm saying? But um, somehow a couple people figured it out, and um, well, so far no one's fucked with me anyway says Hales 
Gothic King Cobra, thank you for the hours of entertainment. Fuck the trolls. Hope you like all this stuff from Exhumed Visions. Awesome. Well, I'll give a shout out to uh, Exhumed Visions. Thank you for the uh, care package here. Hell yeah. Check this out. Here's another mug they sent me. This is one of the uh, Cobra's Mist mugs that are being sold. On September 6th, Josh reminisced about working at Wendy's and mentioned that his dad Clint told him to get a job, save up some money, and maybe one day he could buy himself a sex doll. I will be doing the Wendy's T-Rex Burger Challenge. I don't know when, but at some point in the near future I will be attempting that challenge. I did promise that once I passed 4,000 subscribers that I would do it. And I don't know when I'll be able to do it, but one of these days I'm going to do that challenge for y'all on YouTube. Wendy's has excellent bacon on their burgers. That's one of the few things I miss about working at Wendy's, like walking through that kitchen and just smelling bacon all damn day. Oh. You know, the customers I'd, I'd help out, the smell of bacon in the kitchen. And my co-workers too, you know. But it is what it is. Shit, if I win the fucking lottery in two days, I won't have to apply for a job. <laughs> uh, a lot of you ask the question, what does my dad think about this issue? And my dad straight up told me, enough with the sex doll crap, man. If you want one, get a job and save up money. My dad's kind of pissed off at people right now because... A quote from my dad, which is, People encouraging you to do things just for their own sick amusement because they want something to laugh at. Like, my dad doesn't care that I want a sex doll. He doesn't, you know. But my dad has straight up told me that, Look, if you get a sex doll, you're, you're going to have a harder time getting a girlfriend. Because women are creeped out by men having sex with toys. On September 15th, Josh received his last paycheck from Wendy's. Josh spoke about job hunting and the seeds of making and selling ones were planted by his dad, Clint. How about a lottery ticket? Let's see, I'm gonna check my numbers, man. Well, I got my last paycheck from Wendy's and it was not the biggest. It was like 20, it was like $22 and 40 cents. I couldn't do a whole lot with it. But it is what it is. Let's see if I won any money. Sorry, you won zero dollars. Oh, shucks. Well, that figures. Friday, I'm going job hunting. Oh, excuse me. And uh, hopefully I can get me a job because I hate being jobless. It, it sucks, you know. The satisfaction of making your... Uh, your own money and shit. Thankfully enough, YouTube, I have SSI, and I have SSI because of my Asperger's, and well, I'm kind of glad I actually have it, I'm, I'm, and you have no idea, YouTube, how internally grateful I am for my fans and for my SSI, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be shit out of luck if I didn't have that, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people are a lot of people were really concerned about, you know, how's this guy gonna pay his bills and shit and blah 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 blah, you know. But thankfully, my bills are covered at least. It would be nice to be able to actually make enough money to pay my bills and have a shit ton of money to fuck around with, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, hopefully, uh, the job hunting on Friday will yield some results. Now, of course, if I got a job, I would let you all know that, you know, hey, I'm working again, you know. But for obvious reasons, I'm not going to tell you where I'm working, you know. That was kind of the big mistake that I learned last time around, you know. And if, if I'm going to talk about issues I have at my job, on my channel, I have to be very careful how I word it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want... I mean, general, general rule of thumb, you really shouldn't talk about anything work-related on your YouTube channel. I've had a lot of people on on social media, they're like, ask me about wands and stuff. 
I don't have the supplies for them right now. You know, I need to find sticks, I need to sandpaper, spray paint, all that stuff. Even my dad was telling me that I should be selling wands, you know. You know, my dad even offered to help me with getting, getting something like that set up to where I could get paint and sandpaper and what have you. But I don't really think I'm good enough to be making a living off of it just yet. And that's just my opinion. On September 22nd, Castler's Zemi made another video about Josh, and so Josh made another video response. Fat Fuck made another video about me. It's uh, entitled King Cobra JFS Rant. I really don't want to make this video. I watched about five minutes of it and I could not stop laughing. First of all, he said, what evidence do I have? Because I basically called his brother a pedo. Um, some people I was talking to on Discord looked your brother up, so there's my evidence. Second of all, Fat Fuck claims that he's received death threats from people all over the internet for his harassment against me, for the videos he's made about me, and yet he continues to make videos. Now either one, he's lying and the death threats were never made, or two, he doesn't care about him or his family. The sad part is, like I've said before, he doesn't get any views on his channel unless he's doing a video about me. But I must have pissed him off pretty hard because he, he, he clearly didn't want to make a video about me and yet he did it. And did he bother showing his ugly fat face? Nope, just another video of him playing Call of Fucking Duty, talking shit about me, whatever, you know. And in the video, he says, and I quote, he can't stand liars and hypocrites. He lied in his videos several times, saying that I deserve to get fired. When I busted my ass at Wendy's four long years, that definitely doesn't sound like somebody who deserves to lose their job. Okay, Fat Fuck makes a video of him and his friends looking at pornography in a library in front of children, which I think is a lot more gross than me having a dirty spatula in a couple of videos. And I don't even mention his fucking name hardly ever. It, it, you know, maybe the first couple of times it happened, I might have said his name, but these days I don't even fucking say his name. Like, I don't even give him the satisfaction. And I think Fat Fuck must like the taste of my dick in his mouth because every time he makes a video talking about me, he's basically sucking my dick. Um, on a side note, I'm meeting up with a uh, job coach next week. Hopefully they can get me a job that's a little bit closer to my apartment and that gives me more hours. Um, potentially speaking, okay, potentially speaking, I could be making 1400 a month. Now, as far as jobs go, I'm going to try to get me a job at a music store or dishwashing, you know, something like that. On September 25th, Josh spoke about meeting a job coach soon and mentioned that his dad, Clint, took his debit card away until he found another job. I'm basically meeting with a job coach and they're going to help me with some job placement. I think I'll be a lot happier if I'm actually working again, if I'm actually working again, and if I can make a decent living, you know, I think I'll be a lot, a lot happier, most definitely. You know, if I wanted to save up for a car or a sex seller or what, whatever it may be, that wouldn't take me long to save up at all. Uh, one person asked a question, how the fuck am I affording rent with no job? Well, the answer is, because of my Asperger's syndrome, I have... SSI. If I can find a job where they'll be patient enough, you know what I'm saying, and they work, and if they can work with me, okay, if they can work with me a little bit, once I know the job, I'm steady paced and I'm loyal as fuck to whatever company or place of business that I work for. You know what I'm saying? If anything, my last job working at Wendy's, that itself is a testament to how loyal I am and even though they were cutting my hours pretty bad you know there'd be you know I'd be lucky if I could work three to four days a week and 
eleven thirty to two at that. You know, not a whole lot of fucking hours, mind you. So I, I, I was lucky to break a hundred dollars every two weeks, so to speak. Because as soon as I get a job, I basically get my debit card back, and I would have my I would have my debit card right now, but my dad basically has my debit card. My dad basically told me that I cannot have my debit card back until I get a job and start making my own money. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I make a certain amount of money, they'll temporarily cancel my SSI. But they won't completely take it away from me. that will always be there just in case times get tough. And I've been struggling these last couple of weeks trying to find a job and everything. But um, I think I'll have a much easier luck with the job coach. Now that my apartment inspection's been passed, what I'm saying YouTube, like, I need to get me a job, preferably that's going to pay me more, or at the very least, give me more hours, and something that preferably doesn't DT, and preferably closer to my apartment. And there are plenty of places here in town that don't DT, which is drug test, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't smoke before going to work, you know what I'm saying? I, I treat that other stuff like alcohol, in a sense, you know, if I'm going to uh, partake with friends, I'd re much rather do it when I'm off work, and, you know what I'm saying, it's just a great way to be a bit more responsible with your, um, with your circle, so to speak, yeah. On November 14th, during an interview with YouTuber TommyNC2010 on his show Tommy Talks, Josh spoke about Caster Semi and his firing from Wendy's. Hello folks, it's me, Tommy NC2010, live here from Western North Carolina. So folks, uh, we're here with the Dark Lord, uh, Gothic King Cobra. Now recently, is it okay if I talk about the controversy behind you a little bit, or do you want to stay away from that? Oh, we can talk about it, yeah, that's cool. Recently, you were targeted from a troll, uh, and he got you fired from your job. How do you feel about this? How How is the aftershocks of this humongous situation in your life how do you feel about this it's whatever you know the thing about life is we all have we all have struggles you know mm. and the way i feel about it like i don't care dude shit happens otherwise we wouldn't poop the thing of it is you know what if me getting fired from wendy's was meant to happen you know kind of thing and maybe i don't know it yet kind of thing you know life is unexpected like that I put in four years of very loyal service to Wendy's, often risking frostbite walking to work, but I didn't care as long as I got to work on time. So despite the creepy goth Dark Lord look, I'm still very work professional and suave when it comes to maintaining a job, and I'm also incredibly loyal no matter what the circumstances. Um, this douchebag from Kentucky who's never eaten in the lobby that I've so graciously cleaned for customers to sit down and have a clean place to eat. And working at Wendy's, the food was hot and fresh, the service was fast, friendly, and the lobby was clean. Boom. You know what I'm saying? It was the trifecta that every fast food restaurant should follow. You know what I'm saying? After being unemployed for nine months, Josh's friend Warlord, who has excellent muscle control, got him a job working as a dishwasher at a local bar and restaurant called The Office Bar and Grill. I will cover this short saga in detail in the future. Josh quit his job at the office on September 17th, 2018 to start his own wand business, Cobra Craft Handmade Wands, which is surprisingly still a successful non-profit business to this day. Over the years, Josh would seemingly forget exactly how he lost his job at Wendy's. Josh would consistently blame his trolls and detractors for getting him fired from every job he ever had. On September 1st, 2020, Josh had his YouTube monetization removed from his YouTube channel, and he hasn't made a single penny from his YouTube videos ever since. Josh's main source of income are selling his wands, custom t-shirts on the website Teespring, selling tactical soap using his affiliate code KINGCOBRA for 15% off, and also random PayPal donations from his fans. When asked if Josh would get a job, he simply replies that he has a job and couldn't get one even if he tried because his trolls would eventually get him fired from it. I heard getting a job helps save for money. Yeah, guess what? I have a job, dipshit. I sell wands, I make YouTube videos, I sell Teespring merch. 
Well, this is the end of the Wendy's saga. Thank you very much for following this story and be sure to subscribe to King Cobra JFS on YouTube if you haven't already. I would also like to give a special shout out to the talented Geist Overdrive for providing the soundtrack for this saga. Please check out his music on his SoundCloud, the link is in the description. Finally, I would like to give a shout out to my YouTube members in the chat. There you are, I can see you. Thanks for supporting my time spent editing Josh's videos and together we will all pay Josh that $3,400 eventually. Now fuck off cunts.